I guess you could call this the cold snap of the century for South Texas, since this kind of weather hasn't happened since 1895. As you may have heard, South Texas was hit by historic cold weather in February of 2021. Temperatures got down to 5 degrees in parts of South Texas, which is way too cold for this area. As a result, roads were dangerous, the Texas electric grid was close to failing, and many grocery stores and other businesses were shut down. For four long days, South Texas was paralyzed by the cold weather since we weren't prepared for these situations. The rolling blackouts were at one point happening one minute after the power came back on, making it difficult just to warm a cup of coffee in the microwave. We resorted to using our fireplace for heating water and pulling out our sub-freezing sleeping bags to stay warm. This is cold. The second day of ice cold weather. Oh, at least I didn't get stuck in the storage unit place. <laughs> so we're going over to Target, which is full again of people. All right, so I'm gonna park right here. Oh man! How did the lights? They have half the lights off out in here in Target. See up there. This is crazy. After getting a few things at Target, we decided to go to the land to get our propane generator, gas stove, gas heater, and some firewood. The drive through downtown San Antonio was very icy. And as we approached the Pleasanton exit, it became less of a road hazard. Oh, McDonald's closed. It's closed. McDonald's is closed. Oh, so everybody's going to Golden Chick. Golden Chick's open. Oh my God, look at the line at Golden Chick. This is line to Golden Chick. Yeah. Jeez. All right, just got here to my land, and uh, this is a very unusual situation with the uh, snow. We're talking about South Texas, I mean deep South Texas, getting snow, and this is a very, very rare occasion. But here we are with it. And so I'm coming down to the land. Primarily, uh, I need to get a generator for my house back in San Antonio. All right, here's my son Christian and myself. And we are at the uh, RV and the container here. And we do have some snow on the ground. We're going to go down to the pond and check it out and see. I call it a pond now because it's water there. Oh, that. Uh, it's oh. muddy. Oh, look at this. You see that tracks? It looks like a crane or something. Yeah, it looks like a crane, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got some big prints there. Is there more right here? This could be a hog. That's not a hog. No, that's not a hog. Yeah. That's a very interesting uh, footprint. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I guess that's not the way you pull it off, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's massive. Yeah, that's pretty big. South Texas. This is not South Texas weather. See, this did not work. This cinder block line. It did not prevent the water from getting through. Somewhere it got through. It's still full. Wow. All right. This gives you a good visualization. There's an idea what the pond will look like. This is what right the there. pond will look like. <laughs> We're going to have a little wider on the edge there. That's about... It was what nice that it actually filled up because it does give you the idea. I just bought a, um, a water pump. I, 
a gas water pump and uh, it's a three inch water pump so it should pump this water out pretty quickly so that I can continue digging but it's going to have to dry up a little bit too so uh, this is uh, February 16th oh my God. <laughs> so this is kind of midwinter but this is by far the coldest that it's gotten here I wonder where that water, I guess the water could have gotten in over here. It's six degrees uh, Fahrenheit somewhere around here, is what it said on the news. The uh, coyotes are howling in the middle of the day. It's like uh, 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Oh, that's pretty cool. They smell us. They're hungry. They want fresh meat. <laughs> All right, so I just got the ATV from the uh, container and bringing over the generator back home along with the uh, propane tank. Huh? Yeah, it's a lot of mud. Look at this. There, and look at the tires there. Essentially, it wasn't moving that much, the wheels. They were just kind of sliding along with the uh, ATV. So we're gonna put these guys inside. Is this a wake-up call? I know I'm now prepared, but are you? I have a feeling most of us will go back to normal life, as if this never happened. The government is good about responding to normal situations, but definitely not prolonged major emergencies. So make sure you and your family are making preparations, just in case. You may have heard the old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, that definitely still holds true today. So you can see where the grid is off. Over on the left there, there's no lights. And on the right, right there, is. there is. The rolling blackouts that they're doing. As I end this video, I want to say that I'm really thankful for what I have in life. It's so easy to take important things for granted, such as food, water, gas, and electricity. Because one minute you may have it, and in another it may be gone. Cherish your family and protect them by doing a little planning. Until we meet again, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.